set to go. They're racing in the King George. And down near the inside, Dunedin, one of the first away. Up there, too, is Nathaniel and also Mast Marvel. And out wider then is Brown Panther trying to cross over. The Japanese runner, Deep Brillanti, is up there searching for a handy posse. Ro uh, Robin Hood has tapped for early toe on the inside. And Dunedin has pulled his way up now to take a narrow lead. So Dunedin on the outside doesn't really want to be this enthusiastic early. And now Robin Hood has poked through to just take a narrow lead. Pace is pretty good. Two lengths away then is Brown Panther third from Nathaniel Dane Dream the inside. Then Deep Brillanti trying to get in to get a posse, followed in the centre next then by Nathaniel. Being tracked by Mast Marvel, Reliable Man, then Seamoon second last. And Joseph O'Brien has St Nicholas Abbey at the tail of the field. The pace is good now as he settles into a rhythm. Robin Hood and leads by three or four lengths as they race down to Swindley Bottom. Leads by about three or four to Dunedin. Is on the inside here of uh, Brown Panther, two or three away then Nathaniel, a length then to Dane Dream followed then by the Japanese runner pulling hard, a deep Brillanti the outside, further back then Reliable Man with Mask Marvel followed by C Moon and out the back is St Nicholas Abbey, all the time climbing up towards home, six furlongs to travel and it's Robin Hood by three lengths to Dunedin, two away then the outside Brown Panther, a length further back then is Dane Dream travelling on the inside now of Nathaniel two lengths further back then is Mask Marvel on the inside of Reliable man and now deeper then is Deep Brillanti further back in the field then as uh, Sea Moon about second last and St Nicholas Abbey is last racing up to the half mile in the King George and it's Robin Hood on the inside from Dunedin looming up now Brown Panther Dane Dream sitting in behind Nathaniel going well they're followed by Deep Brillanti the face makers dropped away Masked Man is for Masked Marvelous further back followed then by Reliable Man as they swing the corner now in the King George two and a half furlongs to go Dunedin the Melbourne Cup winner on the far side and Brown Panther coming at him now Nathaniel joining in as well Dane Dream getting into the clear followed by Reliable Man battling on they've got a furlong and a half to go in the King George and Nathaniel moves up on the outside to grab a narrow lead Dane Dream on the outside is finishing fast with Reliable Man a half furlong left to go Nathaniel is trying to cling to this lead Dane Dream finishing my fast it's Dane Dream now racing to Nathaniel Nathaniel kicking the inside they hit the line and look together, a bobbing finish between Nathaniel and Dane Dream in the King George. St Nicholas Abbey flew home down the outside from Reliable Man. They were followed then by Dunedin and Sea Moon. Brown Panther behind them from Deep Brillanti, Mast Marvel. And Robin Hood is last. Here's the bob. Let's see it. Dane Dream the near side. They hit the line, locked together. Dane Dream possibly, Dane Dream near side, on the evidence of that, has won it by a nostril from Nathaniel. Here comes the result. First is number nine, Dane Dream, ridden by Andras Starker, has got up to win it narrowly from number four, Nathaniel William Buick. There'll only be a nose in it. Third, number eight, St. Nicholas Abbey, Joseph O'Brien, and fourth, number five, Reliable Man, ridden by Olivier Pellier. But the arc winner, she's bounced back for Germany. A first win in the race for Germany, as Dane Dream, this five-length winner of the arc last October, has returned to form with a vengeance, and she's got up to pull it out of the fire by a nostril. Far side, Nathaniel, a game second. Went so close to winning back-to-back -back St. King George's. St. Nicholas Al Abbey has flown down the outside for third. Here's the photo, and here's Andras Starker. Here he is, victorious once again on this remarkable German mare. A nine-to-one winner of the King George. What a happy moment for German racing. And Rashtaka absolutely elated with the run of Dane Dream. This performance is filly by Lomitas. Out of a mare called Dane Drop, trained by Peter Schergen, himself a, a multiple champion jockey. And Andras Starker is the winning jockey. A nose was the winning distance. One and a half lengths between second and third. And the time, 231.62.
Just fantastic to hear and see the elation of Andreas Starker. What a fantastically well-timed performance on this filly. She only got her head in front on the line. Nathaniel had the race, had the race until that very last half stride, not even a full stride. And look at him here, just joyous. The first German trained winner to win this race and only the third horse, well, the third horse this century to win the arc and this race, following in the footsteps of Dylan Thomas and in and uh, for a hurricane run as well. And Dane Dream returned a nine to one chance, the only filly in the race. And my word, that was a great finish, Willie, that wasn't was it? was a fantastic finish. Um, it's, <clears throat> you would have to say that uh, Nathaniel, having run uh, two weeks ago, just might have taken the edge of him. But not, let's not take it away from this uh, Dane Dream. She won the Arc de Triomphe on fastest ground. The ground's been drying out for her today. And there you could see it, Andre, just coming to the outside behind Nathaniel, setting his filly alight, and as you said, Claire, she did not get her head in front until the very, very last stride. And, and it was a, gr a gr great finish. And a reliable man uh, ran fourth. That's one of his best ever races. And of course, uh, Joseph O'Brien on St. Nicholas Abbey, he came from last, and he's only beaten two and a half lengths. So he's run a very good race as well.